We are going to get started here shortly. If everyone can look up, up, up above the band, you see a red clock back there. When that is 8 o'clock on the dot, we will start our processional. So please, please, please find your seats by 8 o'clock on the dot because we will be starting as scheduled. Thank you so much for your patience.
Good morning and welcome to the Falcon High School 2023 graduation ceremony. You may be seated. Senior choir members, please make your way to the risers. So again, good morning and welcome to our graduation ceremony here today. In the great words of Dr. Seuss, oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. Today, we honor these heights to which you have soared as a great Falcon Falcon from Falcon. Welcome to all of our family, friends, faculty, administration, members of our D49 administration and D49 school board, and especially to the stars of the show, our Falcon Falcons, the class of 2023. (laughs) 
Graduates, everyone in attendance today is here to honor and celebrate you, and they have supported you in some capacity or another along your educational path. They have helped you find the various places you'll go and will continue to be an important part of your life moving forward. Thank you for all of the support, love, encouragement, and investment in each of our graduates' lives. Thank you also to our active duty military, veterans, first responders, and educators here today. It is your service that allows us to be free, safe, and productive citizens in this great country. To the class of 2023, congratulations. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so let's help you get on your way. On with our ceremony. At this time, we ask everyone to please stand for the presentation of our colors and the performance of our national anthem. We ask that everyone remain standing until our color guard has departed the area. Thank you. You may be seated. I would now like to introduce Falcon High School principal, Dr. Daryl Bonds. Good morning and welcome to the parents, grandparents, and the class of 2023. I'd also like to welcome our guests who are here with us this morning. First of all, the members of my administration Ms. Jennifer Gregg, Assistant Principal, Ms. Cava Lentz, Assistant Principal, Mr. Chad Belleville, Assistant Principal, Mr. Michael Champlin, assist, excuse me, Dean of Students, from our district office, Mr. Peter Hiltz, our Superintendent, our Zone Superintendent, Mr. Brian Smith, Board Members, Mr. John Graham, and Ms. Ivy Liu, director. Before I continue with a small tradition that we have here in the Falcon Zone, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2023 and to thank them for being patient with me this year. This spring has been more like a COVID year for me and somewhat of a roller coaster. I've missed out on many traditions with you all and these traditions are some of the ones that I treasure, one of which I will miss today, which is shaking each one of your hands as you go across the stage. 
My cancer treatment has resulted in significantly low white blood cell counts, which means I am very prone to infections. I want to thank, the, thank my supervisors, the superintendent, my zone superintendent, and the board members for being patient and understanding and willing to work with me with my schedule. It truly shows that Falcon School District 49 is one of the best places to work, learn, and lead. Now about the senior class, my fourth class at Falcon High School. You guys are rock stars. You're the class that essentially missed the spring of your freshman year and the fall of your sophomore year. Despite all of this, you've made it here today and proved that Falcon Falcons fly higher than any humans on the face of this earth. In this senior class, we have a senior who will be graduating high school with an associate's degree. Our Space Force Junior ROTC unit will be a distinguished unit of recognition for the 10th time in a row. And these seniors were part of that four years in a row. We have a state champion long jumper in this class. And again, Falcon Falcons fly higher than any humans on the, fast of the, on the face of this earth. Now for our tradition that we have in the Falcon Zone. Here on this beautiful spring morning and graduation, it would be a mistake not to recognize the groups of students who have been through more than four years of adversity and change that have made the changes that they've gone through and the hard work that they put in day to day. And still, here they are on their day, their graduation day. Many of our students have been with us for many years, creating the foundation of our wonderful community and many other students have brought in from over the world diversity and a sense of wonderment. I'd like to take a moment to honor those who have been with us through the years. At this time, can I have all the graduates stand? Seniors, when I make a statement that is true of you, please take a seat. If you've been part of Falcon High School, District 49, for one year, please take a seat. If you've been part of Falcon School, District 49, since your junior year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your sophomore year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your freshman year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your eighth grade year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your seventh grade year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your sixth grade year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your fifth grade year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your fourth grade year, please be seated. 
If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your third grade year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your second grade year, please be seated. If you've been part of Falcon School District 49 since your first grade year, please be seated. Those standing have been part of Falcon School District 49 their entire career since their kindergarten year. You may also be seated. Thank you. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce to you one of the Falcon School District 49's 2023 graduation student speakers. Please welcome Gabriella Elder. I raise my hand up to a sky, a sky infused with vibrant crimson, violet, and cyan that wrapped around me like a blanket. I was overwhelmed with these lively colors before they disappeared into the bleakness of the night, and I wondered, can I reach it? Good morning, staff, students, families. I'm Gabriella Elder, and I can proudly say I survived going to District 49. Unfortunately, today, I couldn't throw up a Subway Surfer video to go along with my speech, so you're all just gonna have to bear with me since I know our attention span spans are awful. I would like to, first off, say congratulations to you, the class of 2023. <laughs> Through your years of hard work and a bit of procrastination, you've made it to the day that you've all been dreaming of. Please make sure to thank all of your parents on the crowd today, because without them, we wouldn't have made it here especially since we made them stay up late at night helping us finish our last minute projects. For the past four years, we've been simply just going to school, learning, and making some memories here and there. But as our time here comes to an end, it is time for us to decide how we want to live. But first, I would like to take a trip down memory lane with all of you. It's interesting how everything comes full circle. I actually got to speak at my fifth grade graduation, and I used to think that was intimidating. It, being the youngest, I was always going to my older siblings' graduations where I saw students with, really, with full beards and really bad spray tans, and I thought, man, they're old. <laughs> but now we're here today, and I also wondered what it meant to be a Falcon High School student. Well, our freshman year consisted of really bad TikTok boy perms and hot Cheeto girls. <laughs> our sophomore year was the only year we were allowed to fall asleep in class and get away with it. Junior year was not just the year for the SATs, but it was also the year you could go to school and see students hobbling down the halls with stolen soap dispensers and bathroom stall doors. I have no idea how they achieved it. And our senior year has been pretty all right so far, except it was the year that I contracted an extremely debilitating and contagious illness. Stage four senioritis. Going to different schools, you'll hear those Falcon High School students are a different breed. And I'm gonna take that in a positive way as I'm sure it was meant to be condescending. But you see, Falcon High School students are the type to wear Crocs to prom, to fall asleep during medical terminology, and to worship our Lord and Savior, Quizlet, in order to pass biology. <laughs> However, Falcon High School students are also seen carrying each other through the halls, helping each other gaslight their teachers into thinking there definitely wasn't a test today, and to cheer when we barely managed to jumpstart a car successfully. Falcon High students have created a community geared towards helping each other and enjoying the strange moments in life together. We definitely know how to live in the moment. And through my years in this community, I've learned a few lessons from all of you and myself that can help us later on in life. Falcon High, uh, Falcon High School has taught us how to find the right answer. And that's great and all, especially for jobs where it qualify, you need to find only one answer. But how about when it comes to everyday decisions where there are multiple right answers or there are none? What happens if you can't see the road that lies ahead and you're surrounded by darkness? I always used to panic in these instances because I like to find the right answer, but I've come to realize that the best decisions I've made in my life have come from blind leaps of faith. 
Let me take you through an example. Freshman year when we were signing up for classes and I saw JRTC on the class list, I thought, ew, yuck, I don't want to sign up for that. But for some reason, I decided to go for it, not knowing whether I'd be good at it or if I'd enjoy it. And here I am, four years later, retiring as the Cadet Delta Commander. And it's been a blast. Another example is I didn't know if going to graduation or getting more sleep was more important this morning, but I decided to take a blind leap of faith and here I am. Do not get so caught up on always being correct. As one of the greatest minds of our generation, Megamind has said, there's a benefit to losing. You get to learn from your mistakes. Another key factor is believing in your abilities. It's funny because for the past few weeks, I've been talking with my friends about who the poor soul was who would have to speak in front of hundreds of people at graduation. It couldn't be me. So when I was offered to do this, I was immediately going to decline because I thought you had to be crazy to do something like this. But then when I let my emotions settle, I was soon asking myself, why not? The biggest obstacle in my life and the thing that's caused my most atrocious defeats has been me. I was either too afraid to try or I got into my own head so much that I unknowingly sabotaged myself. I didn't let myself fly too close to the sun out of the fear of getting burned. So I decided to change my perspective my senior year and I want to stray away from my shy nature and go beyond my comfort zone and it's been the best year of all of my educational years. Once you begin to believe, trust in who you are and to believe in what you can do, you can do more than just live. Being in high school, we've gained a lot of knowledge, but outside of high school, we have so much more to learn. Please, again, remember to thank all of your families who are out there today. Staff, thank you for putting up with us for the past four years. I know it's been difficult. I would like to thank my friends, but most importantly, I would like to thank my family and God for getting me here today. A sunset will disappear for only a brief moment before it reappears the next day, allowing, you for, allowing for you to bask in all of its beauty and wonder. Or as Peter Pan would put it, to live would be an awfully big adventure. Congratulations to you, the class of 2023, and thank you for your time.
Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Brian Smith, our zone superintendent, with some encouraging words. Thank you, Dr. Bonds. Well, when I started our ceremony here today, I referenced the great Dr. Seuss and his story of the places you'll go. Now, I'm positive that almost all of you have heard this book referenced at one of your elementary or middle school promotion or continuation ceremonies in the past. So I thought to myself, way to go, Mr. Smith. Here you are as the new zone superintendent and you're pulling in things from common graduation speeches. That's original. You know, I could have at least used chat GPT and had artificial intelligence craft me a whole brand new cutting edge and profound speech. That would have been innovative, but it would have been the easy way out. No one sitting here before us today took the easy way out in their journey, and we know life's journey is challenging, and it's taken the support, care, and love from others to help get us through the many numerous challenges that were put before us. By sitting here today, you have learned how to navigate several of these challenges, conquer them, and set yourself up for a whole new level of success. Confucius once said, wherever you go, go with all your heart. Graduates, you all made it through elementary school, middle school, and high school by showing a lot of heart. As elementary students, you just loved everything. You always showed a great deal of positivity and you cared about your day doing whatever needed to be done. In middle school, it was a little more challenging as your heart tended to be broken from all the drama, first relationships, and those teenage rebellions. Yet, those life experiences made your heart stronger. And in high school, your heart really shined. You developed a passion for what you wanted to do and did whatever it took to ensure that you got there. You developed deep friendships and grew stronger connections with your loved ones to navigate whatever path or challenge came your way. And now, you get to choose your next chapter, your next step, and, now your path, and how your path continues. Remember, as Confucius said, wherever you go, go with all your heart. Now, as you move down this path of life, you get to decide where you land next and fulfill your dreams of what you want to be. Abraham Lincoln said, whatever you are, be a good one. You know, he's right. Get out there, do whatever you want to do, and be awesome at it. Be the best version of yourself and show people what you can do. Your accomplishments celebrated here today are just the beginning, and you have the power to dream, inspire, and do. The world is awaiting change, and you have the ability to have an impact on that change by being the best you can be. Take that passion you have ignited within your heart and go be awesome. Be positive, innovative, and driven in whatever you choose to be. Whatever you are, be a good one, as President Lincoln said. Making our way down these paths, we all know we want to be successful, but success can't be our only desire. Maya Angelou said, my, life, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. We all want to work to be successful, but let's find a way to do that with a little more gusto and pizzazz. Let's thrive. Being a Falcon Falcon from Falcon is a big deal. I mean, how many people in the United States of America can say that? Go out there, show them how a falcon soars, show them how falcons are locked in, and show them how falcons hunt. You are prepared to do anything and do it in a way that will let you thrive in this world. With the accolades coming your way, put your name in lights on the front page of the paper or in, be front and center on the news. Be bold, visible, and proud of what you can do and help our youth of tomorrow ignite this same passion for success. Get out there and make sure that your mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. I agree with Maya Angelou wholeheartedly. And as you go with your heart, be a good version of yourself, and thrive in whatever you do, remember the important words of good old Charlie Brown. Life has no remote. Get up and change it yourself. As graduated high school adults, you have the power. Life is whatever you want it to be. 
There is no script and frankly no directions that ChatGPT could ever provide to determine what you're supposed to do next. This is your choice. Everyone seated around you today has helped you get to this point through their encouragement, love, support, and persistence. They care a great deal about you and your success. They also know that you are in full control of what happens next. Get out there, keep moving forward on this pathway of life. Don't look back. Unless you're reversing in a car and or the sonar goes off, then look back. It saves a lot of headaches, but I digress. Keep moving forward and enjoy the journey on whatever you, wherever you go next. If you make a wrong turn, or you keep going backwards and run into something, you have the power to fix it. You have the ability to make it right. Overall, you have the ability to make life whatever you wish to make it, and you are ready for this. Seniors of the class of 2023, you are ready, and we are all ready to see what you will do next. The Falcon Zone has engaged, enhanced, and elevated you to take these next steps and propel forward as an empowered learner. You are ready to either seek out that next adventure or arrive at your ultimate destination. You are ready to have an impact on this world that nobody has seen yet. We can't wait to see what that is. Confucius, Lincoln, Angelou, and good old Charlie Brown said it best. Go with all your heart, be awesome, thrive in this world, and make changes in life for the better. I'm very proud of all of you and wish you nothing but the best Falcon High School graduates of the class of 2023. And to the world, look out. The next generation of Falcon Falcons from Falcon are on their way.
Thank you, choir. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce our second student commencement speaker for the class of 23, Vivian Bazo. You know, it's so strange because when I was talking to Gabby, if she had amply rehearsed her speech, she told me no. And I don't know about you, but that seemed a little rehearsed to me. So that's why I came prepared. <laughs> I don't know if Dr. Bonds looked worried. We did have to submit these for his approval, so he's probably thinking like, oh gosh, did she write a whole new one? Don't worry. I didn't. Although he probably was a little worried when I submitted it to him so late and I got a little panicked because I saw an email at 6 a.m. That's a notification saying, Daryl Bonds has requested to access your PDF file. And I was like, oh gosh, I didn't even give him viewing access. This is not good. But good morning, everyone. Thank you all for waking up before the sun this morning to come to this important day. I'd like to honor those who cannot be here in attendance with us today. Please join me for a moment of silence for our fellow classmates, Joseph Wright and Scott White, and for friends or family who have passed on and would have loved to be sitting here with us today. I'd like to begin by sharing a story. A young girl attended her grandmother's house often growing up. As time went on, she didn't visit her grandma as much, so every time she would go and visit, they'd have lots of catching up to do. Over time, this grandma's memory started to fade, and she was struck with dementia. Soon, that little girl wasn't so little anymore, and now spent time visiting her grandma in a nursing home. But she knew that she had, this grandma's memory had started to fade rather quickly, but she knew she had connections to this not so girl, little girl anymore. She would tell her friends that this girl wanted to become a doctor, and proceed to tell the staff in the nursing home that she's coming for your job, and tell the cooks that she wasn't coming for their job. But this story, this story is about me and my grandmother, often referred to as Mama. However, I started off my speech introducing a story about myself and using first person pronouns, I'd sound too conceited. So I had to do a little cover up. Even though everyone in the audience probably saw that one coming. I bring up this story because I want to emphasize the meaning of the word importance. Importance, the state or fact of being great or having significant value. We've been told this school year and previous school years that it's important to turn this paper in, important to study for this test, important to pay attention to this lesson. But there's a lot more important things than just a test. It's something that's of utmost importance in my life is people. People can pertain to a very large group. So that while the word people may not seem very significant, I want you all to think about a person for a second, at least one person that has impacted your life significantly. Hold on to that person or group of people before those people may not be able to share the same memories with you. There are so many other people I could stand up here and give credit to, and because so many people asked if I could shout them out in my speech today, I composed an acronym with the first letters of everyone's names, and this simple phrase comes to say, you should actually pay me to do this because I'd be making bank right now. And now, if your name is Gabby, and, for example, and you're wondering where the G is in that phrase, just know it's in there. The G is obviously silent. <laughs> Sometimes the wrong people come into our lives, but I have learned that recognizing when to distance yourself from those limiting you to new experiences, limiting your growth, or limiting your self-worth is also extremely important. It's important to stand up for yourself, be resilient, and stay true to what you know is best. These lessons have been shared to me with one of my important people in my life. Her name is Rebecca. As she says best, live like you're dying. It's important to live in the moment and make memories with those you love and care about. You don't want to be stuck later down the line filled with regret because you missed out on something or took time for granted. Never forget to thank those who have left meaningful impacts in your life. As we officially break apart from Falcon High School today, take time to thank those who have helped you become the person you are today. Look back on the memories you have made and shared in the school district or your years at Falcon High School. I'd like to thank Coach D for his bright neon pink running shorts, for blinding, I mean, symbolizing how bright our futures can be. <laughs> Mr. Kranz and his 50-year-old mugs and t-shirts for teaching us how to preserve things for a very long time. <laughs> Dr. Bonds for showing us that if you stand in the hall with a straight face and barely talk, you can look super intimidating and easily instill fear. But don't worry, I, Dr. Bonds is actually a very nice guy, but the first time I met him, I was shaking in my boots a little. 
Miss Ria, for teaching us that food is, food is fuel, and sometimes all it takes is a quick snack break to keep us going. And so I have this candy lay up here with me. And for those custodians for, who always supported us and would give us a friendly wave of hello in the halls, even if it appeared while well, most of us could not understand the concept of how to use a trash can sometimes. As I look across the crowd today and see a multitude of literal minions wearing the exact same outfits as the guy next to him, I won't tell you that being unique or becoming a true individual are the keys to unlocking your future. However, I will leave this with you. My, as my mama once told me, you need to depend on yourself. At the end of the day, it's, it's important to depend on yourself, show up for yourself, and be there for yourself. I was, however, depending on Dr. Bonds to somehow accidentally flash my Venmo up on this screen over here and be like, oh my gosh, what a coincidence. You guys should really scan that. <laughs> so folks, what I'm saying is you can only really depend on yourself to get the job done. And that's just a failure on my part. I was also thinking of coordinating a flash mob for today's ceremony to go true high school musical style, but that recorded a lot, required a lot of effort, and I merely finished writing this two days ago. <laughs> Although high school musicals did show us how to really soak up our experiences made in high school. With song, that is. So if you come out of here singing, I'm not going to judge. But seriously, what I want each of and everyone here to recognize is those who have impacted their lives. Don't forget to credit yourselves as well. I know at times it may have seemed like a treacherous journey, which normally I only use that phrase when speaking of my brother's road rage driving down powers trying to pass a semi in the morning, which believe me is quite treacherous. But at the end of the day, you guys were the ones who got yourself here today. Now class of 2023, I wish you all the best and enjoy the next hour seeing if our wonderful teachers have remembered how to pronounce our names. Mr. Graham. Please accept <clears throat> please accept my recommendation to certify the students here today. These students have completed the district requirements for graduation. Thank you, Dr. Bonds. On behalf of the Board of Education, Falcon High School, your parents and community, I accept your recommendation. I recognize that these students meet or exceed the expectations set forth by District 49 in the state of Colorado. Students, may you live blessed and bountiful lives, always have the liberty to make good choices and pursue every happiness. Please have the students cross the stage in recognition of their completion as Falcon High School graduates. Congratulations, class of 2023. You made it. Braden Douglas Abbott. Daniel Brian Abraham. Riley Nicole Aiken. Thomas Garth Allen. Merlin Randall Almares. Ryan 
River Lee Andrew. Kaya Rose Apricio. Nathaniel Anthony Aquino. Arlette Reina Arguelles. Audrey Kaweilani Auna. Anthony Terry Backeberg. Matthew James Backeberg. Kira Mary Bailey. Aiden James Willis Ballard. Josiah David Bancroft. Abby Nicole Driscoll Bonjbach. Benjamin Stewart Barbier. Daniel Maurice Barbier. Garrett Anthony Bartos. Maximilian Ray Bauman. Ivan Alexander Benefield. Winter Fox Benjamin. Heather Grace Berry. Jacob Kennedy Berryhill. Melanie Rocio Betancourt. Kiera Estelle Bisbee. Dawson Christopher Bishop. Colton J. Blankenship. Logan Curtis Bauer. Ella Schuyler Bauer Eyes. Hayden Dale Bauer Eyes. Vivian Makana Bazo. Gwenifer Morelli Bramhall. Hunter Michael Brewster. Caitlin Ann Broadwell. Derek Reagan Brock. <laughs> Hannah Marie Brock. Isaac James Brown. Madison Renee Brown. Joshua Michael Bullock. Caden Andrew Burrich. Anaya Renee Burke. 
Miranda Sky Burke. Gabrielle Ann Burkholder. Sydney Elizabeth Burns. Nataya Deborah Monet Burroughs. Evelyn May Byerly. Ethan Michael Calderon. Bryce William Cannon. Ethan Henry Carter. Benjamin James Chapman. June Allen Cho. Alyssa Brooke Cisneros. Christopher Gage Clausen. Dennis Eugene Klein. Sydney Marie Kofer. Misa Riri Elizabeth Connell. Litzy Marlene Contreras Romero. Andrew Vesmer Cooper. And Samoa. Deja Jabrea Cooper. Daniel James Cooper. Bailey Reese Cox. Aviana Kareen Cox. Alexis Taylor Critchfield. Ryan Thomas Cruz. Max Joseph Kernow. Quinn McDonald Curry. Sage Elizabeth Dasher. Dante Zare Davis. Madeline Joy Defendall. Emma Jane DeLang. Caleb Austin Delzite. Jaden Joe Detman. <laughs> well done. Sean Alexander Ditson. Okay. 
Lydia Ora Dominowski. Holland Caden Dragon. Micah Joseph Drew. <laughs> Benjamin Dirk Dudden. Nathan Ray Dunkley. Logan Theron Dunn. Jeremiah James Paul Edgerson. Robert Matthew Eldard. Gabriella Emmanuel Elder. Madison Victoria Esch. Laritza Itzel Estrada Cisneros. Billy Aaron Evans. Javon Cortez Evans. Connor Michael Ferringer. Daniel Rodriguez Felter. <laughs> Kelly Joe Fields. <laughs> Katie Isabel Philsell. David Alejandro Flores Anguiano. Alejandro Antonio Gyro Christian Fombrum. Faith. Kristen Forehand. <laughs> Maxwell Brooks Fothergill. <laughs> Ryan Michael Franzen. Amelia and Marguerite Garcia. <laughs> Bailey Morgan Ray Gentz. Catherine Elizabeth Duro. Colby Austin Gibbs. Go, 
<laughs> Trinity Gibson. Joshua Hinebra Obando. Jermaine Tyrone Gladden. Isabella Marie Goldbach. Michael Matthew Gomez. Elijah Wayne Graham. Angelina Marie Guerra. Adriana Ray Gutierrez. Caitlin Ann Hall. Christian Hamori. Carly Megan Hannenberg. Christian Allen Harloff. Caden Benson Harmon. You're going to come this way, son. Shaylee Nicole Hatch. Lillian Grace Haynes. Jessica Marie Henderson. Chase Elliot Hermes. Madison Alexa uh, Hermosillo. Christiana Rose Hinton. Robert Anderson Hitt. Adrian Jamal Hodges. Zachary Leroy Holting. Jalen Marie Hoffman. Amber Jo Hollingsworth. Evan Tyler Horner. <laughs> Alexander Warren Hubbard. Star Alexandra Mackenzie Huddleston. <laughs> Cooper James Hughes. Nia Moray Hughes. Aiden Lee Hunsaker. Aliyah Nicole Hutchings. Aaron Josiah Hyde. Michael Joseph Idavaya.
Karina Shukratovna Ishmailova. Malik Alonzo Jefferson. Gracie Ann Jenkins. Shane Ashton Taylor Jensen. This way. Lydia Johnson. Olivia Ann Johnson. Charles Carson Jones. Malia Marie Jordan. Kylie Lane Catcher. Hannah Rose Kelleher. Michael Allen Paul Kim. Sky Fallon Kirk. Emma Kathleen Kisby. Ava Elizabeth Knox. Reese Patrick Knox. Matthias Jesus Crone Morales. Madison Raylan Kobaki. Ashley Carolyn Kurtz. Yeah. Hannah Elizabeth Lacey. Yeah. Haley Victoria Lacey. Jonathan Anthony Landon. Brianna Michelle Lang. Brayden Daniel LaRose. Tayden Michael Latimer. Kayla May Lemon. Kaislin Joy Long. Colin Scott Long. Isaiah Christopher Lauk. Joseph Robert Lovato Baki. Luke Avery Lepton. <laughs> Lily Sophia Lustig. Aiden Bradley McDonald. Dustin Avery Malave. Isabella Juliana Maldonado. Kyler Jordan Marsh. Leah Faith Masara. Logan Anthony Massett. Carson Grace McCune.
Samantha Marie McGee. John Jansen Meredith. Sebastian Strider Meza. Amber Marie Mielke. Alyssa Christy Miller. Ashton Nathaniel Minahan. Hunter Lee Douglas Morris. Brett Rowan Murray Cameron. Ashlyn Grace Mustaine. Sidi Niaye. Jacob Elijah Nelms. I tried, I tried. <clears throat> Isaias Michael Nieves. Good job, Nelms. Isabel Faith Noy. Dylan Christopher Norris. Dylan Michael Oakland. Blake Christian Odom. Lindsay Rose Unkin. James E. Pace. Lily Marie Pelletier. Dianara Perez. Kevin Logan Pesco. Asen Lloyd Peterson. Lily Grace Peterson. Nico Nicholas Wyatt Petroselli. Devin Corey Pinsker. Kaylee Elizabeth Pischke. Tyler Joseph Pitts. Tatum Gail Annalise Pogline. Cameron Mitchell Porter. Josiah Andre Potts. Cassidy Elizabeth Price. <laughs> Destiny Michelle Pugue. Javen Joseph Fajardo Kitano. Marcos Ramos. Ethan Edward Richards. Araya Marie Reisenhoover. Peyton Joel Ashton Rollman. Richard Anthony Romero. Samantha K. Romero.
Joseph Juan Rosario. Damaris Arelli Ruiz. Simona Esperanza Ruiz. Natalie Jasmine Salazar. Joshua David Sanchez Rodriguez. Evelyn Ray Sanchez. Jasmine Amalia Santa Stephen. Grace Lillian Sarder. Mariah Leana Savala. Gavin Ray Sawyer. Skyler Gray Eyes Scharfenberger. Cohen Chandler Schmidt. Lionel Alejandro Segovia. Samuel Joseph Quinn Silvis. Brock Nathaniel Slider. Diego Alexander Smith. Hannah Rose Smith. Mia Joy Smith. Dagan Chase Spano. Allison Taylor Welton Spencer. Elise Pauline Stallworth. Mallory Jane Starks. Aiden Kaylee Stephanie. Lily Ann Stewart. Camilla Sutton. Anthony Tyler Tuffer. Jasmine Boo Tulean. Christopher James Taylor. Michaela Lynn Taylor. Sabitip Tawarn. McKenna Ann Thomas. Alexander Cassidy Thorhauer. Ryan Schuyler Thorpe. Tian Jason Thomas.
Truxton Thomas Tobin. Alexis Rose Tribe. Chandler Stephen Van Grinsven. Jalen Anthony Vargas. Becca Joy Vasquez. Maxine Louise Vasquez Gossage. Megan Catalin Vasari. Lazaro Manuel Vasquez. Caden Riley Vieira. Natalie Elizabeth Vieira. Jaden Lynn Veneri. Ani Ina Katarina Vinica. Mila Lilu Weimer. Elijah Archer Ward. Allie Renee Ware. Madison Renee Warner. Michaela Renee Washburn. Caitlin Cian Waugh. Jack Harrison Weatherby. Caitlin Ann Weaver. Adam Michael Welch. Caleb Sebastian Winnish. Jeremiah Joel Whalen. Kendra Nicole Whalen. Cameron Elise Williams. Madeline Ella Williams. Tanner William Witte. Trevor John Wolken. Jacob Stephen Worthington. I love you, Mom! Joseph Bruce Wright. Aspen K. Jakobetz. Abigail Marie Zick.
Did you know that the graduation cap you're wearing right now originally indicated that the person wearing it had a clever brain? Would you please turn to the person who's lucky enough to be sitting next to you right now and say to them, son, you have a clever brain. Now, I noticed some of you saying a little bit more than just that. Seriously, you're using your graduation to get that certain someone's number? I taught you well. <laughs> Did you know that graduates have been wearing tassels for 700 years? Not the same graduates, but graduates in general. What you're doing here today has been happening for longer than many of us have been alive. Flipping the tassel started about 100 years ago in the United States. Before that, the way they would do it is all of the students in the school would come to the graduation ceremony. The freshmen would move their tassel from the top right corner to the back right corner, on and on. The seniors at some point said, this stinks. We don't want a bunch of freshmen at our graduation. So they said, let's do something new. Let's flip the tassel. And at that point, freshmen were no longer able to come to the uh, graduation ceremony. So that's a new thing. And I'm going to suggest here, <laughs> I'm going to suggest in a few minutes a new tradition that we could start here at Falcon High School. Now, uh, I think we've officially exhausted tassels as a source of romance. <clears throat> as I thought of what I wanted to say to you this morning, I realized that you guys started me on a new path of thinking four years ago, and this has been really, really cool for me, so I want to say thank you for that. Now, I saw something in you guys that you did better than the classes that came before you, and you do it more often. What I saw was, I saw this over and over with you guys. Two of you who could not have been more different actually respected each other. You liked each other. You looked up to each other. And that got me thinking. Each one of us has a power to change the atmosphere in the room we're in. You guys started me seeing that power. Now, some of you uh, recognize this, and you're intentional about using this power for good. That is amazing. Many of you who are graduating today have used this power to make the atmosphere in my class at Falcon High School significantly better. Thank you for your kind smiles, your encouraging words, the notes you left me, the confidences you shared with me, the dreams you've shared with me. Please keep doing this wherever you go. Some of you are like me. You have the power to change the atmosphere in the room, but you don't realize it. Here's my first question. How do you use this power you have? Do you change the atmosphere in your classes, at work, at home, or when you're out with your friends? Do you change the atmosphere for good, or do you make these groups worse? Now, Christy, you added so much to my eighth hour last semester. Hannah, thank you again for showing me how much a student aid can add to a classroom. Adam. I see you there. Catherine, if you knew how many people have commented on that cool artwork you left in my room. A question I've started asking myself is, what keeps me from changing the atmosphere in a room for the better? Guys, the people who care for you have done such a good job raising you. You've made such good choices. 
Elisha, I'm looking at you right now. Yeah. I'd like to pause for a moment and talk to your parents and caregivers. Thank you guys for all of your support, your encouragement to me, your grace, and your helpful advice. I see so many stories in the news of parents behaving badly with teachers and school officials. You have never done that to me, so thank you. I appreciate that. Um, thank you, parents, for the ways you modeled what it looks like to be a model citizen of the United States. Your kids learned that lesson, and they've done an awesome job. Guys, well done. Now, the last thing I want to say, yeah. I could stay here all day just celebrating you guys and thinking how cool it is. Now, the last thing I want to say before we get on with the purpose of the day is a request. When I meet a former student around town, it is the highlight of my day. So when you guys see me on a hiking trail in a restaurant or somewhere else, would you please come up to me? Remind me what your name is, shake my hand, tell me who you're with. You will make my day. So please do that. Which brings us to the whole point of today. Moving your tassel from the right side to the left is a relatively new tradition that only gained traction in the 1970s. Now, some of you guys remember, like I do, the dolphin's perfect season. The bicentennial, dancing queen, that's recent history. That's when we started moving the tassel over. Now, if Matt Backerberg were here today, I know for a fact that he would support my idea for a new Falcon tradition. He was one of those rare students at 14 years old who seemed to instinctively understand the value of a sleeper hold. Matt, I told you, you should have let me talk to your drill sergeant about getting you out of basic training for a couple of weeks. Will the members of the Falcon High School class of 2023 please rise? <laughs> Seniors, at this time, pregnant pause, please move your tassels from the right side of your mortar board to the left. Congratulations to the class of 2023. You did it. Well done. The class of 2023, you have one final assignment. I know, and it's me, so you know it's gonna happen, okay? Uh, at this time, staff, I would love it if you could please follow Miss Lopez wherever she went. She's all the way up there over by McLuhan. Staff, please take a moment and follow Miss Lopez down the walkway. Students, hang tight, I promise your turn is up. All staff, if you're wearing a black robe, I'm talking to you. All right, while they're walking over there, families, thank you so much for all of your support, all of your dedication, and all of your, well, forcefulness in getting your student here today. They could not have done it without you. At this time, our ceremony has come to a close. And we are going to do what we call the teacher tunnel walkthrough, where our seniors get to congratulate their friends, the other staff, their teachers, new and old. And of course, they have to pick up that diploma, make sure they don't leave without it. Um, but class of 2023, are you ready for your final assignment? 
<laughs> All right. In an organized fashion, please no running, no pushing, no shoving, no tripping. No, 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 Jalen. 